pre-orthographical constraints on visual word recognition, evidence from a case study of developmental surface dyslexia. Background on the patient. MT is a right-handed native French speaker, 13 years and eight months old at the time of testing. And according to his relatives, there is no history of neurological disorder problems in speech and language development. Background on his education are the following. Number one, conventional instruction when attending primary school. Number two, concerns about his progress in reading and spelling since early primary school. Number three, repetition of second grade because of difficulties in learning to read and he received extra assistance during one year. And number four, in the fourth grade, he was diagnosed with dyslexia based on the three years and eight months difference between his chronological and reading age and was given reading instructions for two years. MT was a participant in a study divided into two experiments with an aim to study his visual word recognition and each of the experiments contained a number of participants for comparison. Experiment number one, the viewing position effect, investigated MT's printed word recognition. The two factors that determine this effect are letter legibility and lexical constraints on word recognition. In figure one, viewing position effect, word recognition probability from experiment number one is shown for five and seven letter words, solid squares and open triangles respectively as a function of viewing position within the word relative to word center. For MT, the left panel, and control participants, the right panel. Small bars are for the standard errors of the mean. The result of the study showed MT's processing of printed words was not efficient, and despite having twice as much exposure durations than the control participants, he failed to reach the average word recognition level. For experiment number two, spatial profiles of the visual span. The study investigated MT's sensory limitations on letter visibility by computing visual span profiles, in other words, the number of letters recognized at a glance. In figure five visual span profiles, Letter recognition probability from experiment number two is shown as a function of viewing eccentricity for the seven control groups, the small panels, for empty and for the control group average is all. The result of experiment number two is that empty identified individual letters with the same accuracy as the control participants, and his performance did not show an increase in lateral masking. The results of the study showed that MT's visual word recognition was constrained by a limitation in the number of letters that he can simultaneously process.